so. Facebook takes a little while to load. Let's see. Wait until. Okay. There it goes. Um, so I just wanted to say, hey, y'all. I am just checking in with you, seeing how your Sunday is. Um, I actually haven't been on Facebook Live since the accident. Um, so I thought I'd get on here, just say hey, check in with you, and answer any questions that you have. Or, yeah, I don't know, I kind of just missed you. But I love you. Um, you know what? I'm actually feeling really. I'm feeling really good. I just, um, I have a few, like, bruises and burns and, um, sorry, yeah. I have a few bruises and burns from the accident, um, from, like, the airbags and stuff. And then I have a broken vertebrae. As you can tell, I have this neck brace on. Um, and I'll have this for about six weeks. And I gotta do some physical therapy and stuff. Just hoping that it doesn't cause any long-term issues, um. So that's just kind of what I'm worried about most. But, you know what? It could have been way worse. Um, that's, you know, that's all I can say is I'm just really blessed at the fact that, you know, it wasn't any worse than it was. And I'm so blessed to have friends and family around me during this time. I mean, the morning after the accident, I woke up and I just had tons of flowers from everyone um and it was just absolutely amazing to see the type of friends that I have in my life and the people that I work with and you know it means more than anyone knows to get just those prayers and those cards and the I'm thinking about you I'm praying for you it means so much so I thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for just every prayer every comment um, for the people who have sent me flowers, for the flowers, the gifts, just everything. I appreciate your kindness. I appreciate your love. And, you know, I'm extremely blessed. Um, let's see. So I'm trying to read all you guys' comments while speaking. But I do. I appreciate it all. It means the world. And... You know, this accent's put a lot into perspective. You know, I like to say that this was God kind of slapping me in the face, literally. Um, you know, telling me, hey, I need to refocus you. You know, I need to focus you on what's important. I need to focus you on just on how to live your life a little differently. So that's kind of how I'm taking this whole thing. Um... You know, things, it's been, it's been a rough week, but, um, you know, like I said, I'm just blessed. I'm blessed with great friends, great family, um, uh, just everyone who's gathered around me, prayed for me, um, I just can't thank everyone enough. I love you all, um, yeah, that's just, I just can't thank everyone enough for just everything so thank you and guys just please be careful when you're out on the roads please pay attention please just don't let things distract you don't let you know just keep your eyes straight on the road don't try to do anything else while driving because I promise you it's not safe um and yeah so I love you all thank you for all of your comments you guys are all being so positive so loving um and I can't thank you enough. So, now I'm just trying to read you guys' comments. Going to try to answer some questions that y'all may have. Let's see. Let's see. I'm actually here, Chloe and Grayson screaming. So, I've been staying at my parents' house since I got into my accident. And honestly, it's been great because they have these sleep number mattresses. And oh my goodness, most comfortable things in the world. And I get still my dad's pajama pants. So, that's pretty awesome too. But... I'm gonna have to go back to my place in a little bit, um, but I gotta figure out a car situation first. Um, I really hope my insurance company doesn't hate me, but, exactly, I like one of y'all's comments. You said you've got this, learn from it, life's too short. 
yes, life is very, very short. Um, that's kind of what I'm noticing recently is, you know, you never know what your last words could to someone could be. You never know what your, you know, that's, I think, what scared me so much about this accident is, you know, we all get mad. We all say things that we wish we wouldn't have said or we all act a certain way towards people that we wish we wouldn't have acted. And, you know, we don't think twice about it until, you know, a few days later, oh, I may feel bad, so I may reach out and apologize. But you know what? You may not have those few days to, you know, wait to apologize. So I think for me it's just after my accident I've realized don't just say what's on the tip of your tongue. Don't just shoot that text message that's hateful and mean, you know, just to try to prove a point. Stop trying to prove a point and just have a good heart and love people how you're supposed to love them. And you know what? That's what I'm realizing. I'm learning. I'm growing. I'm young. So, like I said, these next few weeks, I'm truly going to be focusing on me and bettering myself and just digging deep in what's inside of me. And hopefully by me learning to love myself a little more, I can help you all a little bit. So that's, you know, I guess that's the purpose. I guess that's why God allowed this to happen. Um, but yeah, just watch what you say to people. That's, I guess that's a big lesson that I've took away from this is you can't take words back. You just can't. So don't say, you know, I hate you. Don't say, I wish something bad. Don't say those words to people because... They're so hurtful and, you know, you ne you can't take them back and you never know when you're going to lose someone. Um, but someone said, just comment, did I ever find the guy that stopped? Um, I have not. Um, so if you guys, heck, it really is a small world. So if any of you know who this man was, he stopped. I remember cars just kept passing me I was laying there in my car and I just remember like yelling trying to get someone to help and no one would stop cars just kept passing and passing and I guess they hit parts of my um car that was out on the road and things just kept slamming up against my car and I never understood why people wouldn't stop and there was this man coming the opposite direction and he had stopped and he truly just, like, I, I just remember, he was like, are you okay, are you okay? And he was on the phone with the police, and then he had left. So, you know what, to the man that stopped, thank you, because I felt like, like there was, like, 20 cars that had passed by that just let me sit there, and I was so scared. So, thank you so much to the man that stopped. I cannot repay you enough, you being there. Just thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means so much. Um, and, you know, just thank you. So, let's see. Hope you heal sooner. Yeah, I'm going to be okay. It's it's just my neck. What do we need our neck for? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but, yeah, six weeks, hopefully. No longer. Hopefully. I'm not in any pain afterwards. But, like I said, it could be worse, so I'm Gucci. I'm going to be good. Um, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning in to my Facebook Live. Just wanted to give you guys a little update. Wanted to talk to you a little bit because I know a lot of you guys have been commenting, asking questions. And now I just kind of felt like talking to you all. So I love you so much. I appreciate all of your love, all of your support, all of your comments. Just, I appreciate it all, you know, to my friends and family. Uh, thank you so much. You've helped me through one of the hardest weeks I've had. And, you know, I will forever love and cherish our relationships. And, yeah, so now I think I'm going to lay down, watch a Lifetime movie, eat, go to sleep. I don't know. But right now, I'm not really worried about driving or getting in a car or none of that. So you don't have to worry about me being on the road. We'll be okay. Um, but I love you and have such a great night. And remember, don't say things that you can't take back. Love you.